what's good everybody and we're back and today we're gonna be doing a chaos coaching and i don't want to waste pretty much any time at all we've already went over our lineup in our very last video and the only change that we made was subbing in brett Favre for trevor lawrence everything else is the same the lineup the abilities everything so if you want to see that you can check out the last video but this one's just gonna be about chaos coaching we're jumping into the game we're in the seattle offense we are in the giants defense and that is it we're playing the game now let's jump into it all right here we go with this one our opponent has golden ticket rg3 rg3 looks awesome the stats look great so i always like to look at the top three for my opponent just to kind of see maybe maybe we can tell what they like to do if they have a quarterback and two wide receivers in there as their main, uh, top abilities maybe they like to pass the ball a lot if they have a couple running backs maybe they like to run the ball a lot but only thing i picked up right there is rg3 looks like a monster i would love to try out that golden ticket i may have to do that in the future but let's just try to have a great game let's try to walk through with some chaos coaching and kind of explain what we're doing on the offensive and defensive side of the ball we're coming out here they're in this strong close which is a good formation for running the ball but it's also a solid formation for passing the ball as well so we're going to start off just sending some pressure and that they're passing the ball Ooh, -hoo. I, I thought they were throwing to me again to that flat but really on early on in this game i'm just gonna send a lot of pressure out of this under center uh formations have a lot of trouble blocking so if you start sending five six even seven players sometimes it can be really really tough for the opponent so that's what we're starting off doing here i'm sending uh six people and uh we also have our user blitzing because that can help us with the user Ooh, i missed the tackle in the backfield the thing about the big nickel the big nickel over g is you can also shoot the gap on run plays really really well the other defense i really like to use from this giants is the dime 146 that's not something you probably want to be in against strong close so I'll, I'll go to the big nickel until we get on some uh like main passing outs third and tens third and uh third and longs and then we'll probably go to the 146 assuming they come out of this strong close but early on in this one we're just trying to contain the run and maybe force them into a mistake on the pass with eric berry with eric berry let's go starting off on offense now we're just gonna really try to read what our opponent likes to do you know get a feel for what they're doing they send a lot of pressure oh maybe have some better run stick what are they playing they're sending pressure they're playing coverage that was heavy pressure that was seven people they're in this three four i um, they showed blitz on that first play they're doing it again and that allows them to send heavy heavy pressure but as long as they keep doing that i don't mind taking these quick reads to the flats ideally we could go that flat a little bit faster so i don't have to worry about uh staying in bounds but if they want to keep sending pressure like that i don't mind having to uh just take my reads to the flats that's something that i'm definitely cool with i'll take my five six yards and uh, we can move down the field that way no pressure this time Ooh, you know what I, for a second there i thought that tight end route got over that deep quarter it did not it did not get over i thought maybe but we're gonna go for it here a little bit of a slow start into this drive you know still getting a feel for our opponent that's something that i uh ooh, 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 ooh. we might have a touchdown we might have a touchdown oh they moved it over nice play okay 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 Something that you want to do throughout every single game is just get a good feel for what your opponent likes to do early on so that later on in the game, you feel a little bit more comfortable with what you're going to. And Braylon Edwards, that was a tighter throw than I wanted it to be. Got to relax here. Got to settle in. I think we have this fade on the outside. I think they're going to cover three. We're going to have it. Yes, Brett Favre. No, no, no. All right, so right there, it was actually what I saw the play before. They came out on that cover three and their deep third in the middle was on the opposite side uh, of the play. So I, I knew as soon as I saw that, that they weren't gonna be able to get to that streak on the outside and the outside third had to play the out route. If I show you back here on the replay, you can see it takes a step down. When I saw that, uh, I felt like I could throw that pass. And if we didn't get pressure, we probably would have been able to complete it. We got Waller outside. That's where we wanna be hitting the flat at. We wanna be throwing it a little bit quicker. We don't have to worry about going out of bounds. We can pick up those seven yards. Now they've been playing a lot of cover four. They've sent pressure at it, but they've also played coverage. As long as they keep right there in route, oh another inaccurate we had our in route the thing about cover four is it's going to do a really really good job when you're when you're playing coverage that is from it of taking away those early flats if they're playing hard flats and then the deep quarters can kind of play like cloud flats a little bit outside taking away your corner routes but if you're able to get that intermediate like 10 yard passes maybe some curls um you can have like the, that in route that I tried to throw right there. You might not be able to throw corner routes with those deep quarters out there, but they can definitely still be attacked in that intermediate range. And then they have, they're going to have a little bit of less coverage in the middle of the field, right? So like a cover two is going to have a lot of players that they can have in the middle because they already have, they only have uh, two deep blue zones. But when you have four, you kind of have to figure out where you're going to have your zones at. And you usually just can't cover the middle of the field as well as you see from that in route that we're able to throw right there and that was actually cover three on that last play and the thing about cover three and cover four is you can also beat them out to the sidelines you see like right there that's a speed out but like speed outs corner outs you can beat them out to the sidelines a lot of time with a cover two the cloud flats already outside on those outside corners 
So you're not going to be able to usually like throw a motion corner out out there because the cloud flash is going to be sitting there waiting. But in, for example, in this 3-4 odd, in cover three and cover four, the, the flat zone is either coming from the safeties or the outside linebackers. And when that's the case, you, 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 can, you can't get out that wide. They just aren't fast enough to get out that wide to those corner routes. Now, I just tried to run the ball because it was second and short. And my stick work is not very good. Here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to sub in Vernon Davis. We're going to change up our personnel. We're actually going to audible down to a run right here. I really love this year how you can audible down when you when you have different personnel. We can go to like this 0-1 trap. We have two tight ends now instead of uh, just one. And uh, we're getting right on the ball. We're getting right on the ball. And, uh, I feel like they're going to run commit. They might run commit right here, but we're just going to trust it. We're going to trust it. And I was going to say, like, you can you can open up the playbook so much more. Mm, they're really, really playing this run hard. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to pass the ball. I'm going to pass the ball. I think, I think they're going to run commit and we should have something out there. They didn't run commit, but we have Braylon Edwards. We have Braylon Edwards. Yes, what a catch, Braylon Edwards. That's that cover four again. I, yep, yep. I'm going to show it to you here with the camera because my camera's in the way. That was a cover four. That's getting to the sidelines before the flat zone can get there. And you're going to be able to take advantage of that with cover four. Not going to have as much coverage um, in the middle of the field. And they're going to be able to beat them to the sidelines. Those are the two things that you really want to attack when it comes to cover four. I hope I'm making sense with what I'm saying. A lot of times in these Cal's coaching videos, I just get to rambling a little bit. And what I'm saying might not make that much sense. But I hope what I'm saying right now is making sense. Now, I'm actually going to sub in Derrick Henry. We're going aggressive here because I like to run the ball in the red zone this year. It is so tough passing the ball down here. And uh, it can get really... You, I throw pick sixes. I throw picks all the time from uh, from trying to pass the ball in the red zone. So we're just going to sub in Derrick Henry here. We're going to this inside zone. And we're just going to try to truck to get into the end zone. We're on aggressive. As long as we don't take a hit stick, we shouldn't fumble. But we're going to try here. And yeah, okay. We're going to probably have to pass the ball. Now, I don't like to pass the ball down here, but I feel like we have to. Third and goal from the four, that's probably too far to run. We're just going to a full spacing concept right here. We're looking for our option route or one of our hitches. I think we have B. I think we have B. Yes! Let's go, Julio Jones. That was a spacing concept. Again, that was going to be cover four from them. And the sidelines were... Uh, the, the, the middle of the field, excuse me, it's not going to be taken away. They can't have that many deep blue zones. They're going to have four deep blue zones. They can't have that many yellows and still cover the flat. So the flat zone, or the flat route took the flat zone out and we're able to throw that uh, that hitch route for a touchdown. So a little bit of a longer drive. It is going to be our ball at halftime. But again, those first drive or two are usually just a feel out drive. I feel like I got, since that was such a long drive, I feel like I got a good feel for what our opponent likes to do. They send some pressure sometimes, but they stayed in that cover four for most of it and they mixed in some cover three, not really much cover two at all. Not really changing up the strategy here defensively either. We're going to try to force any mistakes. Nice read right there. We're going to try to force some mistakes by blitzing, try to get some pressure on them. And uh, if, we, if we can't force any mistakes, if they're making good reads like that every single play, we'll probably change up from what we're doing with sending pressure every single time. But until, until we see it a few more times, we're probably going to send... Six, and they're doing a great job with their pocket. We're not really getting pressure. I'm actually going to send an extra player now. Since we're not getting pressure, and I want to continue to try to force mistakes. I'm actually going to send seven players right here instead of six. So we're going to send that extra linebacker. And we're actually going to play man coverage on the outside right here. So we have a, basically a cover two set. Got some pressure that time. Let's go. We have a cover two look, and we're sending seven. I got to be quicker with my user. Dive. Ooh, I'm not sure if that's the first down or not, but I have to be quicker with my user. I'm actually um, man coveraging that player that's on the outside there. And so that entire left side of the field is mine. We're going to do that again. But, uh, oh, no, I didn't get the adjustment. I didn't get the adjustment. Nice play. Nice quick play call right there. I'm probably going to play coverage this time. We're, we're not going to. You know what? No. I actually was going to say uh, we're not going to knock them out of field goal range, but we could force a mistake. So that's what we're going to do here. We have a cover two on the right side. And we have man coverage on the one player that's on the left on the tight end. I'm looking at flat with Eric Berry. Let's go. We have to be a little bit quicker to the flat. In that time, Eric Berry was able to get there. Huge play. And it's going to be our ball at halftime. So as long as we don't give any points in those last 21 seconds, we're in a great spot. I felt like I was talking so fast to try to explain what I was doing there. So I had a cover two on the right side. And then we had man coverage with the only player that was on the left, meaning the left side of the field was my responsibility. So anything that went out there, whether it be a flat, it be a slant, a crosser going that left side of the field. I had to guard that. And um, originally, I, I know I said I wasn't going to send any pressure, but I wanted to switch it up because essentially, I felt like we weren't going to knock them out of field goal range. But the only way to keep them from getting any points at all on that drive was to force a mistake, which is what we were able to do right there. We're able to force a pick six. And otherwise, if we didn't send any pressure right there, they probably either, they might get seven, but they probably just, you know, end up getting three with the amount of time that was left. It could be tough to get a full seven there. 
but we end up just getting a mistake just because we sent the pressure. So if you're in a spot like that where you can kind of decide, okay, we can just kind of give up the three and live with them getting those points, or we can try to force a mistake. You might risk giving up the seven, but it could be worth it at the end if you're able to force a mistake like our defense was able to make right there. And this half now, I'm just trying to be safe now. I'm sending extra pressure, but we have deep blue zones out there. Now, this is actually getting really close to field goal range. I probably shouldn't have sent as much pressure as I did. What we're actually going to do here is we're going to go to that cover two look. We're going to send heavy pressure again. We have, a, uh, we have a cloud flat out there now. And we have a deep blue zone to keep anything from getting beat deep. We shouldn't get beat over the top this way. And then we can just have to keep anything in bounds. We should be fine with and we can just swat that out of there swat that out of there let's go we're just trying to keep it they, they don't have any timeouts so anything uh inbounds ends the half now even with four seconds anything probably ends the half so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to man up three deep because they, i don't think that they can get a play where they can get out of bounds in three seconds it just won't they won't have enough time and man up three deep will pretty much keep everything uh in front of us so that's what we're looking for just going to lurk deep and uh we got a chance. We got a chance at this. Nambi? Oh, kid, you run stick. You run stick. What am I doing? I'm trying to stop and go, trying to, you know. <sighs> the pro players that have had so much success this year, they make the stop and go look so easy, right? Oh, I'm out. Not me. I'm bad at it. That's okay. Now that I feel like we have a feeling for what they're going to do, they're going to play a lot of, oh, you know what? That was, <sighs> we had the tight end right there. That was a cover two. They mixed that in. Now that it says cover four at the bottom now, you couldn't see it because my face cam there, was there, but that was definitely a flat zone on the right side because uh, it did not drop back like a cover four zone would. So that's actually a uh, good adjustment by them right there because I was trying to throw the outside. They said heavy pressure though. So I'm looking to make another quick read. We got our in route. We got our in route. Let's go Braylon Edwards. During this cover three, we could have our streak going deep. We could have our streak going deep. The middle thirds on the left side. We got it. Julio Jones and Brad Favre with the perfect pass. Ideally, we could have passed that a, a little bit to the right, but I felt like there were block shedding and I did not want to get another inaccurate like we did last time. So I just wanted to get the pass off. And as you see there, that middle third zone is just not able to get all the way over to that streak. The outside third has to play that out route in the middle third zone has to play that streak, but it's just too far on the other side to be able to get there. Now for this drive, we're just gonna continue to send heavy pressure. They've done a good job on offense in this game. They have almost as many yards as we do uh, on offense. It's just, we've been able to get, our defense has been able to make them, um, force them into some mistakes with, with some pressure. And that's really the big difference in the game right now. We have a, uh, we have a pick six and we have uh, another interception as well. Uh, when they were driving down the field on both occasions so that's definitely something that's been the difference in the game our defense has made their block shedding they're they're uh hollering with the blitz the defense is doing a great job right now i want to continue to send pressure but on a third and 18 right here i'm actually not going to send pressure i'm going to uh show the pressure but i'm actually going to play sticks and um one more coverage oh no 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 no! no. I, I covered the wrong guy we have no middle deep third we have no middle deep third okay good Woo! I tried to coverage out the, the blitz in corner. Instead, we covered out, covered out the safety that was in the middle third. That could have been really bad. This time, we're actually doing what we wanted to do. And you know what? If anyone's ran under center before, you've seen that many a time where you are just trying to hike the ball and you double tap A and you end up accidentally throwing to your tight end. And that's actually going to do it for this game. Great game to our opponent. You know what? We're on to game two. Oh! Here we go with game two. Just gonna continue to try to break down what we're doing on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Here we go. And we're gonna be starting this one on offense. They're starting the 146, which is a super, super good pass defense. It's not the best run defense, but it is a very, very good pass defense. And you know what? Since it's such a good pass defense, we're actually gonna sub in Vernon Davis. That's gonna allow us to be able to audible down if we need to against the 146. If you're going against the 146, my best recommendation put in a tight end or put in a running back so that you can audible down force them to use a different defense now they're going to the 335 y now which is still a very good pass defense but it's not as good as the 146 we'll see how this game can go here Ooh, ooh! i don't know if i had a touchdown to x or not right there y'all can let me know what you thought i might have had it not with not what you want to be doing on first and 10 that's for sure since it's a second and long they actually came out of the 146 which is cool i'm actually going to run the ball against it we're going to go to this 01 trap and hopefully we can get a big gain against it oh we had some space the corner came around you know what we're gonna keep them in that oh i should have went no huddle i tried to hold why okay good they stayed in it because I, I i don't mind running the ball against this i really don't um we can at least get if we can get nine yards again we'll put ourselves in a fourth and short we can actually keep them in this defense 
and uh, run the ball again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we are in big trouble. We might have this seam read. We might have this seam read right here. We don't, we have the corner out though. Feet down, Sterling, Sterling. Oh, you know, the 36. Oh, I don't know if you all noticed that. We were on our own 36 and we caught the ball and so it went forward 36, which is what it would have said if we didn't convert that fourth down. So for a second there, I thought we actually didn't pick it up which could have been really rough, but we did get it, so just that's nice. Got our, we got our smoke screen out there. Oh, Julio, 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 Julio Jones, Julio Jones, Julio Jones, let's go. Okay, so what I noticed was on that fourth down, right? We couldn't throw that smoke screen because we probably wouldn't have got 14 yards or 12 yards, whatever it is that we needed. But I did notice that they had what looked like to be zone drop set. So we went back to that uh, same route with the smoke screen on the outside. And it was there for us again, and we're able to pick up a big game. Now, I didn't expect to get a touchdown off that, but that's why we put that smoke screen out there. I'm trying to break down what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. And uh, at the same time, it's tough because going against 146 is really, really tough out there. But I'm going to continue to try to explain what I'm doing. Trying to think through anything that I went, uh, that I did on that last drive. That corner route, I really was not planning on being able to throw. Uh, the only reason why I was able to throw is because I guess some some reason their deep blues got uh, dropped back and we're able to throw that corner out. But regardless, we'll take this seven. We have to try to get a stop. They're coming out of the gun bunch too. So you know what? We're going to run the 146 like they were. And ooh, they audible. Hmm. Okay, they're out of the bunch tight end. You know what? I just have to make sure I use the crosser right here. Oh, delay a game. You know what? I'm going to decline that. The first delay a game, it's usually because you're setting your audibles, whatever the case may be. I'll usually decline that one. Anyone's after that, I usually won't decline. Uh, but for the first one, I'm okay with doing that. And if they audible again to that bunch tight end, we'll be ready for it since we already saw it once, which is nice. Okay, they ran the ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got stuck. We have to be ready to shoot the gap on that run. We do not want to allow them to tote on us. And they audible down here. They actually stopped in the second tight end, which is cool. We're going to try to stop the run first. If we can stop the run, then that's great. Like, they did, they did for us. Oh, no. They stopped the run against us out of it. We're going to try it as well. If we can't do it, we can't do it. We'll go to big nickel. But until we see that consistently. Oh, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Until we see them running on us consistently, we have no problems with trying to stop the run out of this. And Ronnie Lott making a play right there. Let's go. Huge third down right here. We're gonna get likely one of their best passing plays. I like to say early on in drives, early on in games, that is, these drives, it's gonna be a fill-out drive. You're gonna see what your opponent likes to do. Ooh, ooh, what a read. What a read. Oh, Ronnie Lott. We're gonna, uh, that's something they're gonna like to do, right? So definitely wanna take note of that. Next time, we'll probably man up that seam read and we can lurk the stuff underneath. Early on in drives, you want to take note of those things on third downs, fourth downs. They're likely going to give their best play. We're going to shoot the gap. Oh, okay. Clowney got through. Clowney got through. I'm trying to stay on that outside right there where the slot corner is on the bunch side to try to shoot the gap on any runs. We weren't able to get through there, but it's possible. We took up a blocker. Sometimes when you try to shoot a, uh, shoot a gap, you take up a blocker and then your other players can actually come through. We got stuck. We got stuck. We have to be able to get out there and lurk that. That's on me. They're coming out on this I form pro straight out this time. No audible. So we're going to come out of the big nickel. If they're going to come straight out in a running formation like this. Oh, well, we didn't do a good job of shooting the gap. Thank you for making that tackle. They're just going to come straight out in a run formation like that. We'll come out in big nickel. If they come out in a passing formation, though, with personnel to audible down, like two tight ends or two running names, we're going to come out in the one four six most of the time. So it's based on what they do. Now, they have three. They're in single back, though. Hmm. This is a... I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna come out in big nickel because it's a single back formation. Even though they have uh, three wide receiver personnel, I feel like this is the play. And we're just gonna try to stop it. Third and seven. We do not want to give up a touchdown right here. They actually audible in a bunch, so maybe we should have came out in the. It was. Oh no, we got stuck. Maybe we should have came out in the one four six. But acrobat Deion Sanders, can we get up? Yes, Deion Sanders. Wow, I can't believe we're going to get a pick six off that. I cannot believe it. I actually thought we got stuck on our DT there. They might have had a touchdown. Instead, Deion Sanders makes the play of the game. They're coming out of this gun bunch again. We're going to try to play the best pass defense that we can. Nice read. Nice read with the low pass right there. We're going to continue to try, you know, pick up on what they like to do. And they drove the ball really well that drive. We just happened to get that pick six right at the red zone. And that's pretty much how both these games have gone, right? Just a lot of pick sixes right at the end of drives. And uh, it's it's worked out well for us. But at the same time, we have to play a little bit better defense before we get to the 20-yard line or close to it, that is. Because I feel like they're driving on us really well. We got to try to force some mistakes earlier or get them in some long down situations. Third and 10s, third and 15s. Oh, no, we got stuck. We got stuck on Clowney. Oh, what a, wow, what a play. What a play. I'm not even sure what that was, honestly. I'm not even sure what that was, honestly. They, they flipped their punch, and then they actually audible to something else. I gotta, it's tough to pay attention to everything as I'm trying to flip with them and do everything like that. So, they're doing a good job of audible around right now, which is giving me a little bit of trouble as well. 
I gotta watch the uh I gotta watch for the tight end. Okay, they're not doing bench pivot. Let's go! Little bit of pressure. We have to watch for that bench pivot. That bench pivot to the tight end was the play that hurt us before. So we're watching for that mainly. And there it is, there it is. Oh no, that wasn't it, but <laughs> great play again. We have a third down and long. It's hard to keep up. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but I'm also trying to account for the quick hike. It's tough. I'm trying to explain it. I hope I'm doing a good job. Oh, Eric Berry Acrobat! I'm telling you right now, if you can get Acrobat on your user, if you have the AP for it, it is definitely something worth looking into because there's not a chance I feel like I picked that without Acrobat. We're behind the route and somehow Eric Berry makes that play. That was awesome. I think we might have a touchdown to the outside. I think we have a touchdown to the outside. Outside, outside. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We had an open pass. But not a touchdown. We're just going to max protect right here. They're in this 146, which again is very, very tough. We can scramble with Favre. Go, baby. Go, Brett. Go, Brett. Don't take any hit sticks. This is out of bounds. This is out of bounds. We don't have any timeouts. So if we have any chance of points here, we have to get out of bounds. Now, I'm going to sub in Vernon Davis. I feel like I feel like I want to run the ball if they come out on 146, but I don't know. We'll just have to see what they do. They, they did come out on the 146. Hmm. This is tough. You know what? We're not going to, you know, I was going to say originally we were going to pass the ball. Or run the ball but we're actually gonna uh we're just gonna pass the ball because i feel like running the ball they already stopped us once they show that they can do that we just have to make quick reads on the outside whatever's open and we have that out route yes braylon edwards with the toe tap now what actually happened on that play was they were in a cover two but i think they accidentally touched their outside corner so when i motioned they the the corner didn't follow and we're able to get beat that uh flat zone to the outside almost as if it was a cover three and again they did it you see how they're touching that outside uh corner so it's not Oh, I thought we could get that over the top. So it's not motioning with us. That's illegal contact. We'll take it. They're, the the cornerback's not following our motion because I think they're accidentally touching that slot corner. And when they're doing that, they're touching the outside corner as well. So hopefully if they don't do that again, we're throwing that uh, that's that fade outside. They moved their zone this time. That time they moved it. We're going to motion back because I that's not going to be there. What I thought might be there is not. So we're motioning back in. Oh, no, nothing open. We gotta get on the ball here. We're gonna probably struggle to get points on this drive here, but we gotta try, right? We gotta try. Take our flat. Darren. Darren. Oh, hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? We need like 10 yards. Uh, maybe more. Maybe, maybe more. We're just gonna try to get to the sidelines. If we can get to the sidelines. Oh, we're not in the right play. We're not in the right play. We're not in the right play. This one's going to half. This one's oh! That was close. We're going to halftime. We'll take it. That's all good. Honestly, with the way that they played offense that have to be up 14-0, I feel really good about that. I like our spot in this game. Also, just a note for those of you that might be wondering, the 146 defense that I've been using in this game is actually on Hot Route Tips. Uh, we, we uploaded it early on in the year, an older version, and the newer version's updated. Throne actually just posted a video on it on HotRoute.Tips. That's linked in the description below the website. And uh, it's definitely something that you might be... If you like the 146, it's worth looking, uh, taking a look at. And uh, the offense that I'm in... Should be on hot route tips within the next couple of weeks. We do have a bunch up there from Jaguars. That's Thrones, though. It's a little bit different than the one that I'm in. We're in Seattle, and hopefully within a couple of weeks, we'll have that update uh, up there as well. And you can use the code 335 wide uh, for 20% off. So just, uh, I'll actually have that uh, in the top comments so you guys can remember so you don't have to memorize that. But 335 wide, nice, nice swat right there. And you can get 20% off as well. Just wanted to note that. Back to Chaos Coaching, big third and 10 coming up. Last time they were in short side bunch, they were in bench pivot. So we're watching for bench pivot again. I'm actually going to man up the tight end to ho hopefully take that away. It's not bench pivot. Oh, what a read. What a read to the seam. I have to be ready for that. I forgot about that motion. They did that early on in the game. That's something I said we needed to note, and I didn't note it right there. They came out in a single back, but they're actually audibling now to uh to bunch tight end so i'm actually gonna send heavy pressure i like to do that against bunch tight end hopefully we can get home oh acrobat i feel like acrobat was gonna make a play again but i'll take the knockout they came out of that single back again and they're audibling now to bunch i have to continue to try to adjust for whatever they're coming out and if they're gonna come on a single back i'm okay with coming out and not oh i thought we were gonna be able to make the play on that nice little air truck uh, I'm gonna come out of the big nickel if they come on a single back just to prevent them from running the ball on under center and uh, Just if they end up passing the ball to single back We'll be ready for it out of the big nickel But if they out of love we can still play pass defense against bunch and bunch tight end and stuff like that, too So I'm comfortable in this defense I feel like we can do a decent job out of it and uh, we're just gonna try to force some mistakes That's all we're gonna try to do is force some mistakes. I'm lurking to the right side. Oh Wow, I thought I don't know why I thought I could get that. We were like 10 yards away from that. But with Acrobat, and Acrobat's not really going to go there. But the way the safeties jump in this game, though, you can sometimes get to the stuff like that. And that was, that was close. All right, well, it wasn't really that close. It wasn't really that close. 
but we'll take it. Nice job, Isaiah Simmons. Mark of this flat here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let oh, we, we, That forced them out of field goal range. Now, they're in a tougher spot because of that play. Hopefully, we can force a mistake. That's what I'm looking to do right now. I'm looking to force a mistake. They ran. I wasn't ready for the run. I wasn't, that, nice tackle. This is field goal range, I think. Let's see if they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Biggest play of the game so far right here. And I'm playing full out pass. I'm playing. Oh, they're audibling. This is such a tough spot. This is such a tough spot. I oh, no. It's going to be bench pivot. No, laser. Ah, we got stuck on the Roy Glover. That kept our blitz from possibly coming in. And we, were, we weren't really able to um, use her very fast either. So that's a tough spot right there. Ronnie Lott again. Let's go, Ronnie. Huge third down right here. We have a chance to put them in a tough spot. We're sending pressure. And we're looking to the running back. Oh, wow. What a dot. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Or fourth and inches. Huge play right here. I'm looking to shoot the gap. I'm looking to shoot the gap on any runs. We are full out playing run. Okay, now we're not full out playing run. Now we're playing pass. Now we definitely have to play pass. What is going on? They're in a five wide. Draw. Oh, their, their audible game is awesome. They have audible to a ton of different things this game. And it's hard for me to keep up with all of it, right? It's tough to keep up with all of it. But we have a huge chance right here. Maybe force a mistake. They're inside the 10. This is where mistakes usually happen. It can get really tough. I'm watching for the run, but I'm also looking to lurk. Oh, no, they're in. They're in. No, they're not. Oh, they're in. Okay. They have time now. I mean, it's a one possession game. We have to put together a drive. We need at least three on this next drive. We got to do something with our drive. We can't just give them the ball right back. They came out of this 3-3-5 wide. We do have the two tight ends out there still. Uh, to keep them from being in the 146. We are going to audible down to the run to see if we can pick something up. Oh, and my run stick, we probably could have had a lot more yards than that, but we'll take the four. We're probably going to pass the ball now. We have to we have to put together a drive. This is the biggest drive of the game, and I'm trying to think of what I want to go to. I think they're going to be in a, a match coverage. We're going to try to be we're going to try to put something out that, be, that has match. Every time they've been in this 335 wide, it's pretty much been match. I think we're going to have our corner out on the outside. We're looking for Braylon Edwards. Oh, we got to take our smoke screen. We'll take our smoke screen. Go, Julio. Go, Julio. Yes, we got out of bounds, which is not something we want to do. But we got to take our first down when it's there, right? We'll take it. And now we can go. We can audible down and run the ball again. I feel like that 0-1 trap had some space before. Of course, my run stick is not elite. So I, I messed it up. But I think there's something there. So we're going to try it again. And there it is. Let's go. Okay, Kent. You got to get through the gap right there. You got to. Come on. All right. Hmm, second and eight. I think we pass it again, right? I think we pass it again. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pass the ball again. I like that play. If they go to match, they didn't go to match before like I had hoped. But if they go to match, I think this setup will work for us. So that's what we're looking for. Got our corner right outside. Yes! No! <laughs> no, no, no. We didn't get our toe tap. All right. Oh, okay, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I, I feel like... I feel like the seam streak is going to be there. We're looking for the seam streak. We're looking for Braylon Edwards. Not there. But the out route is Vernon. Vernon with the toe tap. Yes, I'm not even sure why we had Vernon out there because we didn't need uh, two tight ends because it's a passing down. But I guess that keeps them from being in the 146 and uh, we'll, we'll take the first down. Now we're going to run the ball. We're close to field goal range. We are close, but we're not quite there yet. And that doesn't help. <laughs> With their timeout and the two-minute warning, they definitely still have time to get a stop. Oh, wrong button. No. Wow. That was not good at all. I actually forgot that we put them on a corner. It wasn't the wrong button. It was actually thinking that they were on a streak and it was going to be a touchdown and it was a corner out. And uh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all, actually. That was not great. That was not great. Not something that we wanted to happen right there. You know what, though? Oh, should we run the ball? No, we're going to pass. We're going to pass. We're going to pass. Run, Brett. Run, Brett. Is that a first down? I don't know. I don't know. 13. It's a first down. Let's go, Brett Favre. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. Effectively, without their timeouts and a chance to kick a field goal to go up to two possessions, that pretty much ends the game. So all we got to do, I'm, I'm just going to knee this one out and we'll, we'll take our field goal. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to both of our opponents in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I was able to teach you all something. I do feel like I ramble a lot in these chaos coachings, but I hope you all learned something from it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe only if you want to. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. I'm really, really liking this Giants defense. I'll see you all in the next one.